All right. So this is where we're going to be building our press. We're just going to use this tabletop as a surface. And so I'm going to clean it off a little bit real quick. Dust. So I'm just going to need a few things to get this press work. Got to get a couple clamps and over here I've got a big two by four and a strip of wood. I think I might need another one that's long enough quite. And this is just like a, this is just a crap piece of wood. This used to be a big part of a shipping crate that we tore apart. And right, so we didn't buy that wood. This is just some scrap. It's actually bender board. It's not thin to use or anything. Oh, look, it is it's perfect. I only need one. <laughs> All right. We're going to start by clamping down one side of our really thin wood here. Seems to be a pretty square with the table. Okay. And since our board is about, it's 10 inches, so I'm going to do measure out about 8 inches. So there's going to be an inch over each side of this. Eight inches, mark there. Eight inches, mark there. Line up at the mark, roughly. This time to make sure we got it centered. An inch there, an inch there, we've got a difference of like a sixteenth. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now we're putting we're clamping down the center section. Um, it's gonna be up vertical like this so it doesn't bow. Hopefully the table doesn't bow. Let's see. <laughs> close enough for government work. Yeah. I'm pretty close. Oh, wow. There we go. That's a lot better. So yeah, we got it all pressed up. I think we have a little bowing in the middle, but not much. That's not much, is it? It's believable. Yeah, it's believable. So, uh, and this is a pretty long, pretty long get up. Um, before we're doing it on a shorter table, and we're able to put these clamps right here closer to the middle, the closer in the clamps you can get onto this top piece, the less bowing you're going to get. Um, but yeah. And uh, see, if you make a shorter board than this, you'll also get less bowing because we got a lot of wood. We got 40 inches of wood that's bending. So, but it should turn out really good. It's pressed up and it has concave. All right. So, we're just going to let it dry. Yeah, we're going to let it dry overnight, come back, and Make a cut it. So, yeah. But that's all we're going to show you. I, I'm pretty sure you can cut it out. And, you know, that's where you get it creative, is cutting it out and, you know. But basically, the concave is what provides extra strength because of the, sh the strength that's inherent in putting that kind of a curvature in the wood and just the comfort of having concave pressed into your own skateboard. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
All right. Let's get moving. Over and out. Anything you'd like to add, Woody? I guess not. <laughs>